Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my TJ Maxx and Marshalls finds. I know for the past few weeks it's been a little bit slower, but this week is insane. <laughs> like there is so much stuff. I just found item after item, high-end makeup. Today's video is mostly focused on the makeup because I did have so much footage of that. Probably in my next one, I'll do a little bit of everything unless the stores just continue to get so much product. I was gonna scale back to every other week, but there's just too much stuff I had to share. So um, I went to a few different stores, found a lot of good items. Like I said, high-end brands, Glam Light, Urban Decay, Anastasia. Oh my goodness. The stores are seriously packed with stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the finds. Okay guys, it's a new week at TJ Maxx and we'll see if they got some new new stuff. I did want to point out the first thing I saw it was another glam light item here. I've been hearing more of their stuff has been arriving. We saw a bunch of their stuff earlier last year, but they have the Michaela lip set. We did find the Michaela palette last year as well, which was so cool. But they have this lip set for $5.99. I'm not sure how many products are in here. I'll definitely insert a photo because it seems like kind of a bigger box for this, but that's a really fun find. And then I just saw that they had some Soul Body, which is ColourPop's body care brand, and they have the Powerpuff Girls little bubble bath bar. How cute! This is the Drama Bomb. It's going for $3.99 so adorable this is new from mac i'm feeling like we might see some more mac stuff because i did find a couple things at marshall's last week this is their studio fix concealer which i i didn't know they had i know they have the studio fix foundation i found it in c50 for 9.99 i know mac complexion stuff here can be very like hit or miss with the shades they only get like a couple each time and then these kvd we found some more liquid lipsticks in lolita and then mother for 6.99 I also saw they put out a bunch of these Too Faced Killer liners in the Killer Chocolate color. This is $9.99, looks like a nice chocolatey brown. But they got a bunch of just that shade in. And then I saw over here they had a new hard candy item, which we've been seeing a few things here and there. This is a gel pomade brow from them in light medium for $2.99. And then I saw that Pacifica had these cute little lip balm trios. It has a rainbow watermelon, Bali coconut, and an island vanilla, which I think some of those are their regular scents. I know they have island vanilla. This is $5.99. Now this, I literally just saw at Ulta, maybe a few weeks ago this is crazy they have the enchanted fairy vision face set for brushes a bunch of these in 7.99 from real techniques they have some crazy little wands if you guys like some more decorative brushes this is really cool to see they have this origins primer which i have tried back in the day it actually is a very cool concept it comes out like a mousse it's their pore perfecting cooling primer and it really does have a cooling effect on the skin this is 14.99 really cool product it does have a lot of fragrance in it though so if that is a turn off maybe avoid but it honestly was a really cool primer i did find a couple of new hand creams here which will be great for the winter season my hands have been getting so dry lately but skin fix i've heard amazing things about and this is their eczema hand hand repair cream for dry cracked skin this is 5.99 and then i also found this one from ahava which i know they used to sell at ulta i don't know if they still do but this is their coconut hand cream and this one's 3.99 Here's another Skin Fix product. This is their Resurface AHA and BHA Renewing Cream here. So huge product. This is $19.99. Also from Skin Fix, their Eczema Extra Strength Body Cream they have here too with Colloidal Oatmeal. This sounds really good. This is $9.99. Eve Loam, I'm pretty sure I've heard of their cleansing balm before. It's pretty high end. They have their cleansing oil capsules here for $29. And also these Rescue Peel Pads which are 29. Lots of skincare it looks like this week, some new stuff. So we're at the next store and I just found even more Glam Light, some restocks, a new item. I've actually heard the Malibu Barbie collection is showing up here too, so we'll be on the hunt for that, but they do have the Frosted Flakes palette, which is fairly recent from them. It is very orange and blue themed, of course, but I always love finding their stuff here because I think they make amazing makeup and they do run a lot of sales as well on their site anyway, but it's so exciting to find it here for so cheap. This is for $16.99. Now they did restock the kisses as well. These are so cute too. I definitely recommend picking these up. $10.99. I think they used to be cheaper. I feel like they were $8 last time, so I feel like they went up. I could be wrong. They also have the special dark, which has more like purpley tones. 
This one's super neutral. Also from Glamlight, we have the Michaela lashes. So I found the new lip set and the lashes here. These do look really pretty. These are $4.99. They did have a tiny Urban Decay Wild Lash Mascara. We have been seeing the Wild Greens palette here, um, but now they have the Mini Mascara. It's $5.99, which is a decent price to kind of try it out. This one I don't think was a favorite of mine, but it wasn't too bad either. And then we're finding from Benefit, they have their Brow Styler. I don't know if they still make this product anymore. I feel like probably not. It might be an older one. It might be discontinued. But I found three of them. It's like one of the pencils you dip into a little bit of a powder. It kind of is a two-in-one pencil powder duo. But I found three shades of this one in Neutral Blonde 2.5, number four Warm Deep Brown, and number six Cool Soft Black which this one is $9.99. And this was sneakily back here. This is Lawless. So we've been seeing a couple of things from them, but this is exciting. They have the Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum from them for only $9.99. So kind of a skincare, makeup, little duo. I saw here at TJ Maxx they started carrying some wild flower cases, which, if you guys don't know, this is from like OG YouTube days. I feel like 2013, 2012, people, all everyone had these wildflower cases. I did as well. They're actually really nice. So these are for $7.99. I'm curious if they still make new stuff. And maybe TJ Maxx is just going to start carrying more styles from them. But how cool is this? So far they have the 11 in the 11 Pro Max for cases. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen T3 brand hair stuff here, but I just found one of their hair dryers, the Featherweight 2. I love their products. I use their flat iron, their curling iron, really good stuff. This is 79, and they had a few of them. I think that's the only product though, but really cool to see that. Marshalls has their stocking cart out. You guys know it's always exciting to see this. But they have more of those benefit brow stylers as well as even more products. They have the Professional Matte Primer. I don't know if they still make this one. This is the mini size. I know they have so many different versions. This is going for $5.99. And they also have their Hello Happy Powder Foundation. This had really cute packaging. $9.99. It was nothing really to write home about. Nothing too exciting. But... It looks like we have some kind of older benefit stuff here. They're also putting out this Smashbox Studio Skin Hydra Foundation. I should try this again. I used it back in the day. Really enjoyed it, honestly, for my skin. They only have one shade here, 2.1 Light Warm Peach Undertones. I probably could use this one. This is $14.99. And then they also have this MAC Fix Plus Coconut Scented one, full size for $16.99. So it looks like they're putting out some really cool things. Um, Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara too. $12.99. It always sucks at Marshalls because it's like you have to get here at the right time when the card is out to get the good stuff because as you guys saw they only got like a couple things and then everyone pretty much grabs it like most of that stuff will probably be gone by tomorrow. But I was just checking out what else they have but it looks like the best stuff was definitely on that stocking cart. Found a couple more shades in that Benefit powder here. Shade number one. Also shade number two. I feel like they might be discontinuing this powder because I really haven't heard much about it as of lately. But they have a bunch of those. I found these random Sephora gloss, colorful gloss balms for $3.99 each in this hot pink color. We found a concealer last week that they still sell on their website, I think discounted. And here's a couple more colors in those Sephora glosses. Ooh, this is interesting. I really should have looked harder in the other stores because I didn't know these were being found, but from the Norvina line from Anastasia, they have their Chroma Sticks Makeup Pencils. This is the black one, so I think it's just like an eyeliner. This sticker got a little bit ripped off, so I'll have to see if I can find any more of these, but that's kind of cool. Okay, this is definitely a new find here. I don't think we've seen the Urban Decay Naked Wild West anywhere yet. We just found the Honey Palette, I think, in my last video. This is for $24.99. This is one of my favorite ones they've done. The Honey and Wild West are in my top two for sure. I really love the neutral tones in here and there's Pop of Turquoise and I think the formula is great. So that's definitely new here at Marshalls. I'm sure we'll be seeing it at TJ Maxx as well. Looks like they still have a bunch of the Wild Greens from them and some Too Faced Born This Way palettes as well here. I'm starting to see even more new stuff. They seriously have baskets and baskets that they're still working on putting out, so there's probably a lot to share still that isn't even on the floor. But we have these new Urban Decay Vice Plumping Shine Balms. I believe these 
didn't come out too long ago. Like, it was their latest launch. They had lipsticks, a bunch of different formulas, and then these glosses. They have three shades, coconut water, runyon, and secret menu. And they're pretty affordable here, only $6.99. I really did like their new Vice lip lines, pretty good. Now we have even more Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. I swear there's always something every week. The whole collection has ended up here at this point, but we haven't seen the lipsticks yet, and I just found, let's see, I think four of them. I think they're all different shades, possibly. But these are $14.99. These have pretty cute packaging. They're like colorful, they have little bows on them. They are like plastic, though, but the colors are more neutral, but they run more peachy. So I never really fell in love with any of the shades, personally, but definitely packaging is gorgeous so we have a Venetian peach infatuation veiled rose and then Elson 5 I think that one is and it, with these it's kind of hard to tell what the color is since they all have a hot pink label but I'll see if I can insert some photos but I think that's the whole collection we've seen here at this point with these lipsticks being the last item so I spotted this little Sephora palette here which I think is fairly recent from like their fall or holiday collection. It's the Playlist Samba Sensation palette. I know they were just selling this in stores not too long ago. This is going for $6.99. Okay, these stores are super well stocked this week. I'm so impressed. Finding a lot of stuff here. I found a buxom little Wonderless Glow Highlight. Still has the old tag. This definitely came from Ulta because they use those stickers when they don't have a place for their products. But White Russian Highlight from Buxom for $7.99. I found a couple new Jacqueline items. This is their Lip Prep Essentials Kit with a scrub and lip treatment, $7.99. Most excited for this though, the Rouge Romance Palette. I will say this is one of her best items. I do have it. I think there's a couple shades. This is Rouge Affair. Amazing pigmented blushes, gorgeous shades, totally worth it for $9.99. Definitely recommend picking that one up. We have quite a few more MAC Fix Pluses here. We have some Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I haven't seen this one in a bit. It's kind of older at this point. I would probably avoid it. This is $12.99. They do have the shade 1.0. We have a new Lorac palette here. This is the Pro palette. I know they came out with some new ones that actually look pretty good, so I'm gonna have to see if that's what this is. These do look like gorgeous neutrals though. This is the Pro Palette Artist Edition. It says, is it called Meraki maybe? I'm not quite sure. This is $12.99, an amazing price for all of these shadows. I will say Lorac still has some amazing eyeshadows to this day. They're definitely not talked about near enough. And then we did see a couple of things from the Revolution Maryland line. A couple of their smaller palettes earlier sometime last year. <laughs> they have this bigger shadow palette as well. I do really like the packaging and I think this one looks really fun. Like these look like mostly shimmery shades but they do look gorgeous I will say and for all these shades it's only $4.99 you really can't beat that. Of course down here lots of Urban Decay, more She-Hulk. We found these at Marshalls last week in Honey Palettes. They are just so well stocked here. Urban uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear so that's $19.99. TG Maxx is also starting to get in those Smashbox foundations here too. We just have the shade 2.16. I wonder if they're going to be getting like a new foundation soon or discontinuing this one. This is $14.99 as well. And then of course Morphe. They actually just finally <laughs> filed for a chapter 11 bankruptcy today. But we have a bunch of their stuff here as per usual. But this is a new palette I haven't seen yet. The 35A up till dawn. But I'm sure we'll be seeing even more from them. This is $19.99. Okay, TJ Maxx really is on fire this week. I'm actually quite shocked. I grabbed these things to film over here because it's a bit busy, but I found a bunch of these. They had a ton of them. These little Smashbox Skin Obsessed little primer sets. It comes with the full size of their new primers, the new updated versions. This is the Primerizer, which is their like hydrating moisturizer and primer hybrid and then it has a little skincare product this is their revitalized primer essence i haven't even seen that before it has the original value of 42 that almost looks like a sephora sticker and then it's going for 19.99 so about half off another makeup find laura mercier i haven't seen them in a minute here we have their translucent loose setting powder the light catcher now these i could see why they're here because at least for me i didn't care for it because this was more of a highlight like it's a very subtle highlight i don't like to highlight with my powder i like to mattify so i didn't really love these this is in the honey star shade 16.99 
little Liz McGuire blush. We found the lip set last week. So cute. I do recommend this one. Dealish. I think it's one of the hot pink ones and it's only $4.99. Must have. Little belief set. We found a big gift set from them last week. But I was, I've been seeing a bunch of these little mini kits from them. And this is their best selling hydrators on the go. $14.99. Comes in this cute little water drop case. Looks like it's kind of hard to see all the products in here. Let me read the back. I feel like it doesn't have all the stuff. So it says five minis of Belief's best-selling foam cleanser, skin luminizing essence, bouncy gel cream, boosting eye cream, and then a sleeping mask. So really cute little mini set, $14.99 again. And I was really excited to find this NARS body oil. I might pick this one up actually. I wonder what the scent is like on it, but it's their orgasm tree, which is like that peachy pink kind of glittery tone, but I've been loving body oils lately, so I would love to try this NARS one, $19.99 for that one. It probably retails for like $40 or so, so some really, really good finds this week. Definitely head to your stores because they are stocking up. We have the Pacifica fluffy blushies here. I'm not surprised because they didn't have the best packaging. And these are like cream blushes. They had the cream bronzers as well in this collection, but they dry out super fast. They're $4.99 each here, and I just found the shade Pink Haze so far, but yeah, I'm not too surprised those there also this here from morphe we haven't seen these here yet but as i said pretty much everything from them is probably going to show up here from all the stores but these are pretty recent the blush balm in notoriously neutral for 4.99 it's like a cream blush i found another glam light icy palette this is back again we did see these before the red version this is 9.99 still hunting for the barbie one and then I did see that we have a Bare Minerals powder here. This is the original Mineral Veil Pressed in Translucent. This is always a good one to have. This is for $9.99. You guys, I'm so annoyed. As soon as I said that, I found the palette, the Glam Light and Barbie palette, but it doesn't have the box. So, that sucks. I'm sure it's about the same price, but it looks like, I don't know, it might be a little bit messed with. Maybe not. I really want this, but I want a new one. Let's see if we can find the box. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't know, that's so annoying. I mean, it looks like it's still good, but anyways, it is showing up here. It's a really great colorful palette and it just came out maybe, maybe a few months ago, I think last summer, so craziness. So have the blue icy palette here too again everything is open it's very annoying <laughs> usually when i come it's not but i feel like they probably got it in over the weekend and everyone just opens everything okay so these are new here too from urban decay we found those glosses earlier and now we have some lip pencils i don't know if these are their older formula or their newer one i feel like they got rid of their lip liners for a while but they had some good ones i just found this hot pink shade in anarchy and these are only $5.99. Okay, I've never seen Amore Pacific here. It's very luxe. I found this little mini set. It's the Green Tea Hydration Essentials with their enzyme peel. There's the extract essence, the reserve cream, and then a moisture pumping nectar cream. This is $39.99. I know it seems a lot for minis, but this brand is ultra pricey. I know they have some full-size products that are like over $100, so. Very crazy, I've never seen them here before. We have a new Anastasia find here. This is exciting, it's a little value set. I think this is one of their holiday launches, little kits. This is called the Mini Matte and Dewy Duo Complexion Set and it comes with a mini loose setting powder and the mini dewy setting spray. This is going here for $12.99, not too bad, about $6 each product. I know their powder I like, I'm not really into the dewy stuff, but their powder is pretty good for oily skin. They had quite a few of those today, so that's really cool. We do have this set here from Biasance, and this is a fairly new launch. It's their collection with Reese Witherspoon. She had like her favorites in here, the Sunshine set. So this is $29.99, a pretty good deal. You do get a full size of their Squalane and Vitamin C oil, which is one of their best sellers, a lip balm, and also the Squalane and Zinc Mineral SPF. 30, so really nice, pretty new set here. Another new Biasance set that they have here. This one is the Skin Enthusiast set. Again, it has a full size, I believe, of their squalene and vitamin C. There's a mask in here, a moisturizer, and then an oil. And some of these are minis too. This is $29.99. Looks like the only full size is the vitamin C serum. 
Okay guys, so that's everything for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are gonna be on the hunt for. I'm still looking for another Glam Light Barbie palette, one that has a box with it and maybe isn't opened. So fingers crossed we find it because the price was really good on that because when you guys sent me a photo, I think it was like, $14.99 or something like that, so about $15 for it. Um, I did end up buying that NARS body oil. I was pretty excited to find this, but I just tried it out and it doesn't really have a scent. I really like my body oils to have a little bit of a scent, especially when they're more expensive, and this is still pricey at TJ Maxx, like $20. So <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm loving it. I mean, it's very moisturizing and it has a little bit of like a glistening glow. I put some on my hand here, but you can see it is very glistening and it would be pretty maybe mixed in with lotion, but I was just kind of expecting it to have more of a scent than it did. But wow, what amazing finds. I'm just shocked. I can't wait to see what we find in the next week or so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh.